Greetings everyone, Looney Farm Guy here and welcome to Precision Farming for Beginners. And in this video we will be discussing and showing you how to use organic fertilizer with precision farming. Now organic fertilizer is a slurry, manure and digestate. Now the reason I'm taking reason I'm I'm covering this subject all by itself is because um these three organic type fertilizers work very much differently than they do on your standard game with a, a non precision farming. So let's first um, talk about, um, well, let's look at the field. I have prepared this field. As you can see, I've already done some, started a few things. Uh, we have basically negligible nitrogen 25. Um, kilograms per hectare which is nearly nothing if we look at our map if we go to our precision farming map and we're nitrogen um, nitrogen soil information you can see I have um, you know been doing some things here uh, let's talk about manure so unlike the base game fertilizing manure will give you one state of fertilizer in base game. Not so in precision farming. Uh, manure and slurry and digestate will only give you a certain amount of fertilizer. It, it, in this case here, we went from 25, 25 to 85. So that's giving you 65 kilograms per hectare which is not nearly enough to fertilize the wheat that I have in here, which requires 180 kilograms. So we're 85, we're about 100 short, <laughs> right? So uh, what about, uh, let's see, we have a slurry and digestate seem to me, uh, this one uh, we have uh, slurry in here. Now, uh, slurry and gives you a little, so you would go from 25 to 100, so it gives you 75, so it's a little bit more. And if we look over here, we also have 100 as opposed to 25, so 75 kilograms per, um, per hectare. Um, so, now, let's jump in here. It's pretty much, uh, you're going to see, as you can see, the little flag at the top, that's the maximum you can, that it's allowing me to put on. It's not the maximum that the crop requires. Crop requires... Oops, come on, let's go back up, back up, back up. Oh, let's get our... Oh, come on. It would help if I turned it on and everything. There we go. There we go. Now we're now we're all running. And as you can see, the little uh, our little map at the bottom, where it's showing that we're applying applying the fertilizer like so. Now. Uh, let's just hop into here. A little bit of collision there. And again, as you can see, we're applying fertilizer. Now, of course, soil types do affect the rate of application. As you can see there. And like so. So it's very simple actually now if you you can't well you know, let's I'm trying to I've tried to cover a lot of things if I go back over it's uh, turned on if I try to spread it on top of of slurry that I've already put on there it's not going to, you can't double applicate. That's what I'm trying to say. 
is you once the slurry has been applied it's not going to see it's not going down once you cover over so what do you do then how do you get your fertilizer up to the, the proper amount well if you have manure you can you can put manure over top of the slurry that you have just placed slurry or digestate now you can see as we're going over here we're getting a green which means we're much more uh, closer to the uh, ideal um, uh, nitrogen uh, rate that we're looking for right oh <laughs> it left it running stop it <laughs> so now if we look at it where we've covered over we are much much closer to the desired or perfect uh, it's it's in the good range it's green so you could uh, you could very uh, well um, achieve of a, a good uh, harvest uh, with this method now um, pretty much the way that I see being most useful for this method here um, is uh, you're going to use you have to have a lot of slurry and, and and all this sort of thing it gets used up very quickly so depending on the size of your fields you might be running out but uh, what you are doing is applying um, enough organic fur or, or a fertilizer rate of fertilizer that uh, to top it up with some chemical fertilizer would uh, would not be very uh, you would you would use a lot less of chemical fertilizer and we will just for example um, show you now that once you've laid down your um, once have you you placed your organic fertilizer you can go with your chemical fertilizer over top and um, top it up as it were to the desired rate and um, and thus save yourself a bunch of money on fertilizer or, or chemical fertilizer <clears throat> now um, there there is another way if you had a whole lot of of say slurry or digestate and you still wanted to use it um, then you could also try a different method which I'm going to try right now actually because I really haven't tested it yet so uh, hold on a moment all right we're back and I just wanted to make sure I I, I was gonna say something and it's like well I better make sure it works before I say that's how it works and it does work so here it is <clears throat> so we have a first growth of our wheat right so now uh, we still have our, our state of fertilizer that we can see here however if you have noticed perhaps you will notice now it is much more greener here and that is because I have reapplied on top of this field more more digestate I guess if I should turn it on I guess it would work better so all you need is a change uh, you know a, a growth state to happen and you could come back with uh, with the digestate as you can see now it's starting to go very green and we're applying over top so now that you had a growth state you can go ahead and um, apply some more of the uh, di liquid fertilizer either digestate or um, slurry and of course as I said if uh, if you've run out of that and you want to um, just hit it with some liquid fertilizer but you'll use a lot less now because um, you've already kind of pre-fertilized it with some uh, organic so here we go if we turn this on everything is going to go perfectly uh, green it will apply the exact amount of fertilizer perfectly needed 
now with the chemical and once we kind of cover a few spots you can kind of see a bit of a pattern emerging and that would be uh, the different rates of fertilizer required for different rates or the different types of soil and now if we look at that we have a nice even green and um, and it turning a little bit darker green there's more uh, fertilizer is required for the soil type down here and if we just go a little bit further and turn it on see it's I turned it already but it's not going to apply anything unless it's needed and as we hit the spots that require the fertilizer it turns on as we get out into a spot where hmm, it's not supposed to be fertilizing out here but if we go into here it'll turn off until we get to a spot that requires some <laughs> and there it is that's um, that is how to use organic fertilizer to fertilize your fields in precision farming so as I said <clears throat> it is uh, quite unlike the base game where um, application of organic fertilizer will give you one state in this it's very it's it's mm, it's a variable rate of fertilizer organic fertilizer being not as potent as chemical fertilizer for nitrogen so several applications or an application of uh, uh, organic fertilizer and then an application of I was showing liquid fertilizer you could use granular um, so the options are mm, um, and, and of course different crops require different rates of nitrogen too so hopefully that um, that explains if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll be do my best to answer them I do hope you have enjoyed this um, I hope it has been informative and or helpful in some way uh, or another I'm Looney Farm Guy and thank you for watching uh, and remember it's uh, only a game so till next time bye for now